I'm here today in the Cook Library on the Hattiesburg campus with one of our distinguished alumni, James Bates. Now at Southern Miss, we believe our students should be involved in significant dialogues of significant issues of the day. And we're going to get an opportunity this week, our students will this week, to, uh, to do just that. When we see the opening of Mr. Bates' exhibit, Passing the Torch, documenting the 21st century Ku Klux Klan. So, uh, tell us, James, uh, about what we can expect to see in this. Well, there are 24 photographs hanging in the exhibit. Uh, we also have uh, some original Klan robes, one from the 1940s on display. One is a child's robe from a three-year-old involved in the Klan here in Mississippi. Uh, the child that wore this robe was a fifth-generation Klansman from his mom's side and his dad's side. So the photographs are representative of 13 years worth of work. Um, they're all over the South, from Mississippi, Louisiana, Texas, Arkansas, Tennessee, Georgia, Alabama. So I've spent a lot of time um, getting off work late on a Friday and driving through the night to document uh, the rallies and cross-lighting ceremonies um, in, in multiple states. And I've tried really hard to make it a straight documentary project. So you have uh, everything from the children's involvement uh, to the social gatherings, um, to the marches in public, to the ceremony of the cross lighting. I understand you went into a career in photojournalism because and you wanted to use the camera to make a difference in people's lives. How, how are you going to do that through this exhibit? Yeah, really I was uh, an advertising major here at Southern and I was beginning to take photography classes with Ed Wheeler over at Southern Hall in the basement and uh, he was really instrumental in encouraging me to make a career of photojournalism. But it was when I really took time to be in Ed's office that I was able to see images donated to the university by Charles Moore, civil rights photojournalist, uh, who had come to the university as a par part of the Powerful Days book tour and he left those photographs as a donation to the university. I was able to through, see through his work the power of um, making change through photography. Charles's work from the uh, Civil Rights Movement is largely credited for the Civil Rights Act of 1964. He was able to show the nation through the pages of Life magazine and other media outlets what was happening in the South at that time. And it really inspired me to, to find a project that could have meaning uh, during my lifetime that hopefully I could leave behind uh, that would make a significant contribution to society. So when I first started this project on the Klan, I really felt in my heart that it needed to be a long-term project, that perhaps it was that long-term project that I had been searching for. Um, so in the beginning, none of the images were uh, published in local newspapers, and that was a promise to the Klan, which I helped which helped gain me access, I think, uh, by presenting it as a long-term project. And so I've documented their beliefs as they exist. Um, I hope that in the end, people will see the work uh, and come to have thought and discussion about race issues that are existent in our country. What subjects are you passionate about in photography? Hmm. Well, it's, it's subculture typically. It may be uh, the homeless. I've spent uh, a lot of time photographing and, and just spending time with the homeless and their needs. Um, I serve on a, a nonprofit ministry that, that reaches out to the homeless. Um, I've photographed the, uh, the hippies of the Rainbow Family, uh, the Klan, any group that uh, you know, is perceived as a subculture to our society draws me in. For one, I have a curiosity to try to better under, understand their beliefs and, and their activities. And another, it, often these are groups that most photojournalists and journalists are not approaching. So it gives me an opportunity uh, to document unique subject matter. I do the day-to-day -day work for the Sun-Herald as a, as a journalist. It may be business assignments or daily news assignments or sporting events. Um, but I really enjoy the subculture work more. You've been named a member of the Alumni Hall of Fame for the School of Mass Common Journalism. Uh, what did that mean to you? It's quite an honor to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. Um, 
and, and I understand that the, the body of work on the Klan had a good part to do with that. It makes me very proud, um, not only to be inducted, but to have this exhibit here at the university and to have so many departments uh, and yourself interested to, to be a part of it and sponsor it and encourage it. Um, it's, it's big. Thank you. Well said. Sure. James Bates.